Jinkies, gang, can we ever figure out who did this kind of crime? Hey guys, it's the Comic Relief Crusader here. You know, since um, 1969, um, Scooby-Doo has been on the air for a long time. You know, with Scoob and the gang. And um, one particular lady has kind of stood out for a long time, which would be Velma. Oh yes, Velma has gotten quite a lot of recognition, um, you know, with her various incarnations over the years. Um, you know, she's always been portrayed as the highly young, intelligent, um, you know, young woman interested in the sciences. And, uh, you know, she's often been portrayed as being very well read on um, with facts and whatnot. And generally, always the one at the end that pretty much has the whole case solved. So, you know, so whether it's um, also with her various incarnations, uh, whether it's you know, this, or even in the movies as this, or with a lot of fanfic like this. Well, Velma is getting her own show. That's right, Velma is now going solo. But, Velma, well, prepare for another show slaughtered on the altar of wokeness that's right Velma in her new show is going to be voice acted by Mindy Kaling and guess what she doesn't care if you got a problem with Velma being South Asian that's right um, the retcon and gender swap and race swap of characters continues. And it continues now with Velma of Scooby-Doo. So, uh, in a recent article, uh, Velma is supposed to be showing pretty soon. Uh, don't know exactly when, but on HBO Max. And in a recent article, it reads that uh, HBO uh, is working on a adult orientated spin-off of Scooby-Doo that'll put the brains behind Mystery Inc. front and center for a change and Velma will focus on well it'll focus on Velma um, and it's been a long su suspected due to Kling's involvement um, well, she's going to be portrayed as South Asian. Why? Because it's 2022 and, well, we really got nothing else better to do than race swap and gender swap and essentially retcon every kind of character that we can come up with, right? Because that's the way things are now, right? Right. So, anyway... The former office star who basically has nothing else to do with her life than just, you know, take a beloved property such as Velma from Scooby-Doo, um, essentially is quoted as this. Hopefully, you notice my Velma is South Asian. If people freak out about that, I don't care. The other thing she says is, if a dog can solve crimes, then Velma can be brown. Well, first of all, um, it's a cartoon. It's fiction, right? Velma's been around for 
Let's see, 1969, so let's see, 79, 89, 99, well then we got 2009, 2019, so we're talking about, you know, 50 years, 50 years, over 50 years now of a character that's been around, well established, especially in pop culture and media. as the way she is. There's nothing wrong with Velma, the way she was. But no, we we gotta we gotta race swap that and uh, and on top of that make it adult orientated. So uh, here's a little clip of um, how that's gonna go. Oh wow. Hmm. Look at this. Somebody's head just totally sliced off and the brain scooped out just like a chunk of ice cream taken out. Yeah, this is this is not right. Scooby Doo was lighthearted fun, you know, where there was really no gruesome victims. Let's put it that way. This just takes it a little bit of a step further than it actually really needs to go. And you're turning a beloved children's series that got them interested in just, you know, mysteries and crime solving to something a lot more dark and a lot more gruesome. Not cool. It's not cool. You know, she tweeted also, I'm so excited to be voicing this iconic character. Velma will struggle to navigate the pitfalls of high school. Her budding sexuality, watch words, and a serial killer intent on murdering every popular kid in town. Sounds epic. Can't wait. Notice a little watch word there. Budding sexuality. So not only are you going to be pretty much witnessing an iconic children's character, you know, showing images of, uh, you know, brains being essentially scooped out of their cranial units and also race swapped on top of that. But I betcha we're going to get into the whole sex thing. And it wouldn't surprise me if this takes a hard left. Let's put it this way. Just make a series featuring, you know, an all-crime-solving heroine who is South Asian. You know, why does Velma need to suddenly have her race changed instead of race and gender um, bending existing characters? Why can't people just come up with original characters that are that race? Well, you know, the answer is because studios are too afraid, probably, to invest money in original material. So they prefer to take things that are already pre-built and already have a pre-built audience. Uh, so basically, it's a guaranteed moneymaker because Scooby-Doo is. It's been around for over 50 years. So when you already have that, that audience, just take something that, you know, people already like, you know, but it just proves how incompetent producers and or directors rehash already made contents because they are too feeble to make something new and meaningful. You know, when this fumbles and more than likely it will. Um, this woman will probably just blame the public and the audience. And that's exactly pretty much what will happen. Anyway, this is the Comic Relief Crusader, and I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, Comic Relief Crusader here. Guess what? I got a store because I'm such a big nerd. Well, uh, you know, at least right now you can get a 
bunch of posters and stuff like that because, you know, again, I'm a big nerd. And you can get this mug. It's a nice mug. Was Thanos right? Probably not. But anyway, you want to buy stuff? There it is. Click the link and that's in the description as well. Buy some stuff. I'll um, keep you updated on any more merchandise that comes about. This is Comic Relief Crusader. Talk to you guys later.